Hola YouTube, what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 12, day number 4 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode, which was last night, um, we finished up everything that we needed to do here on Melee Melee Island. Aside from taking on Alima for the second time, I don't know how to do that. But if you want to check out that episode, make sure you click the iCard up at the top of the screen. Now in today's first episode, we're shifting to three episodes a day, starting right now, starting on the week, um, where we'll be doing 10, 2, and 6, our normal upload schedule. We'll be doing that, I don't know, maybe until we finish the game. I haven't fully decided just yet. Um, but in today's episode, we are going to make our way to Akala Town. So if you're excited for us to progress through the game, you know what, it's episode 13, isn't it? It's not episode 12, it's episode 13. But if you're excited for us to progress, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. We are trying and we are going to make this the best Let's Play on YouTube, but we need your help to do so. So let's go ahead and get into it with a quick team recap. Not a lot has changed, but some things have changed. So first up, we have Lindsay, our Rock Ruff, with Tackle, Bite, Thunder Fang, and Rock Throw, holding the Normalium Z. <sighs> then we have Lauren, our Trumbeak, with Pluck, Supersonic, Echo Voice, and Brick Break, holding the Flyinium Z. Then we have Buttons, our Dartrix, with Razor Leaf, Peck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind, holding the Quick Claw. And lastly, we have our newest member, Negative Vibes, our Munchlax, with Tackle, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia. Now, I think what we'll probably do is probably move Negative Vibes up to the front. Let's 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 not let's not have any Negative Vibes today. Right, I see how. Let me see what else popping up. I didn't even check to see if there were any other Pokemon in here that I could get. If this is a Zubat, I'm literally, I'm running straight out. I'm running straight out. Anyway, since, since I last recorded, since the last episode, people on Twitter are starting to get on my nerves in regards to this game. You know that I'm enjoying this game a whole lot. I'm currently walking in an area that was not... Oh, let me see what this guy says. Hey, hey, it's big news. The seven mysteries at the trainer school all turn out to be misunderstandings. I know that. What? You're the one who solved the seven mysteries? So cool, that's what you'd expect from a skilled trainer who was acknowledged by the Kahuna. I'll give my treasure to thank you for solving the mysteries. I mean, people still talk about the seventh ghost story. It's a mystery. About the student who was taken away by a Drifloon. I heard that there is a uh, I heard that there's a journal from those days somewhere in the trainer school. All right. But, oh well. Okay. I guess we'll get to that in a little bit. Basically, people are complaining about the game and it's annoying the crap out of me. So the two of you are friends? That's right. We are. We're doing our island challenges together. And next up, we want to go to Akala Island. So I take you beat on Hala. Our Minta would be thrilled to have a couple of trainers like you riding them. Great, so like, how do we actually do Mantine surfing? Just go up to Mantine and introduce yourself. Okay, let's do just that. I've, I've heard from some people that this isn't the most fun experience on the planet. But we'll see, because there's a lot of negativity in this world. I mean, we have a negative vibes on our team. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Ain't gonna see me complain. Antine Surf is a sport in which you can execute moves to try to get a high, to get a high score as you make your way to the island you're trying to reach. Let's start off with our four lessons to learn the basics of Mantine Surf. Picking up speed. Mantine will move forward on its own, right up the face of the wave, and then and when you reach the lip, slide slide the circle pad to the left to surf back down and pick up speed. Once you're back down in the trough of the wave, circle the slide the circle pad to the right to climb the face again. Keep riding up and down the wave to pick up more and more speed. 
Now it's time for you to give it a try. Tav travel up and down the face of the wave by moving the circle pad to left and right and try to pick up some stuff. Lesson one, when Mantine starts moving real fast, you'll see the air currents around it turn orange. Getting airborne, when you reach the highest point of the wave or the lip, slide the circle pad to the right and you can launch into the air. The faster Mantine is traveling, the higher you'll get off the wave. Now give it a try, pick up some speed, then catch some air. Kind of cool, I guess. You clear less than two, and remember the height of the wave affects your score for some moves, so choose the best wave to leap into the air. Oh, I see. Okay. Aerial moves. While you're in the air, move the circle pad in any direction to spin and twist. You'll add more points to your score if you do. And tell me what does what? You can chain together several of these spins during the same arrow. You can pull off a bold move that will earn you a high score. Possible combinations are displayed on the lower screen. It's your turn now. Try to catch and pull off some awesome moves. Right, 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 or left, left, left. It looks like the wave is low right now. Looks like the wave is still low right now. Hold on. Wave is still low right now. Wave is still low right now. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, that's all? Can't do more? Clear lesson three. A sparkling ring around Mantine at the end of a trick. If you start another before it disappears, earn an even higher score. Okay? That's what I tried to do, admittedly. Landing. When in the air, Mantine will slowly lose elevation and fall back towards the water's surface. If Mantine is still spinning when it hits the water. It will be swallowed by the wave and sink below the surface. Make sure your timer spins right at the end before you hit the water. Oops, I should have... Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. That's all I got. Mantine lands successfully, you will get a landing bonus added to the points you had earned from the areas you pulled off. This way your scroll will keep going up. Cleared all the lessons. You're a full fledged Mantine surfer now. If you want to repeat these lessons, just ask the swimmer on the beach. One more thing when you see an island on the horizon, you'll know when you're close to your destination. Try to pull off moves to the very end of your trip. And aim for a really high score. Get out there and become a great man time surfer. Here we go. Alright, let's see what we can do with our first man time surf. Is that a Pokemon? It is, that was a tentacle. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's all I got right now. Back up, back down, back up, back down. This wave is huge. Let's go. One. Woo! Go back, front flip, front flip, front flip, back flip, back flip. Oh yeah. Oh. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, I missed it. Do I have time for one more? Nope. I messed that up. 
I'll go anyway. Okay, like, <laughs> like I had pushed. All right, here I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick up speed to this. this. I mean that wasn't bad. Right roll, right to hunt tail, spiral, Gorbis spiral, Magikarp splash, Magikarp splash. Well, I beat the high score in game. So that's a thing. Look at that Magikarp splash that I failed. I mean, first try and I beat the in game. Uh, the in-game thing. I don't know. I'll probably play that more off-screen than any. Because I'm ready to get into Akala Island. I'm sure you don't want to see me just mess around with Mantine Surf. Maybe I'll do that at the beginning of each episode. I'll try and get a higher episode or a, a higher score on Mantine Surf. Yeah, yeah, beach. Land ahoy! Or land ashore, whatever you say. All right, we made it to Akala Island. <laughs> Mantine is the best. My Howl voice is not awake. <clears throat> Do you think the professor and Lily are already here too? Let's split up and see if we can find them in any town anywhere, Dom. In town anywhere, Domino. Don't nod at me, surfer. Uh oh, what you got, my guy? Your surfing skills are real decent. Yeah, your total score is ten eight two four, making you the number three at the big wave surf spot. We'll all keep it. We'll all be keeping an eye on you and Mantine from now on. Whenever you ride the waves, here are your beach point. Okay. Number three. Don't you forget the ride you just took. Number three. I thought it was number one. Here we are in a. Uh, here we are in Akala, big boy. You know what that means? It means a new Akala Island Pokedex. Try to find lots of new Pokemon to fill it up. That's the goal. I'm trying to get some new Pokemon to add to the team. Boss has 27,000 points. Big G has... Whoa, I suck. <laughs> I did not realize I was terrible. Find plenty of nature here. I'm not trying to stare at you or turn to the right or anything like that. Oh, wait. Do they have different things on each island? Yes. Iron Tail, Spike, whoa, they do. Signal Beam, Fire Punch, oh. So are these the move tutors that were spoiled? Yes. No. Turn over here. You can only pull off amazing moves if you're working together with Mantine. All that cooperation, cooperation makes me hungry. I always have a huge meal after I pull off waves. You could not talk about food right when I wake up. Wonderful. <clears throat> I literally woke up like 30 minutes ago. Got straight out of bed, walked straight to the computer. Hit record. A bottle with a letter. Oh, you know what? Yes. I forgot about that bottle. To the boy or girl who is reading this, please take this letter and give it to the person who loves dancing and Corsola who lives on, uh, who lives on Akala Island. She should be singing the song she wrote together with Corsola. I bet she is. If you give this letter to her, I promise good things will happen to you. Thanks so much. Wait, where? I wasn't paying attention. Who lives? The girl who loves dancing and Corsola who lives on. Okay. <sighs> Oh, young Domino. Domino, I've been hoping to see you again. You've collected 16 totem stickers. Hunting them down is quite a task, isn't it? The captains and trial guys work hard to stick totem stickers up all around Aloha. Searching them out should surely help you progress through your island challenge. I was pretty sure that we got all of them, but he said 20. I only Mantine Surf and I'm not working the Tide Song Hotel. Actually, I should say I only work there when I'm not Mantine Surfing. You can really talk to your partner if you go Mantine surfing on a date. Not that I would be up for conversation anyway, I'm always too focused on making moves. I almost drowned once when I was young. I only survived because Man Mantine swooped in and rescued me. I was really touched by how kind Pokemon can be. You know, I get it. I really do. I get it. I get what you're trying to... Oh, I thought, I thought the game, like...
Whoa, look! There's like a whole mess of Pukamuku. Oh, they look like they're sleeping. They look like they're sleeping so nice and peaceful. I don't want to wake them up. That's the reasoning for making me have to go this way? Oh, because the hotel is right there. Whoops, I should have talked to those guys. That's okay. I know who's about to walk up. Oh. Hey, Domino and Hal! There you are! How was your trip on those Mantine? No proud. That's what I'd like to hear! Yeah! Tackle your island challenge with that same attitude! Wait, so Mantine's even faster than that old boat of yours, Professor? The Professor's sailboat is, well, it has seen better days. Uh, still haven't- uh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know who this is. Um, you still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat. Hmm, cuckoo-y. Indeed, I was correct. <clears throat> I've told you you're going to scare off strangers looking like that. Debbie, back into the bag. Don't sweat it, Lily. Well, hello there. Nice to meet y'all. I'm Olivia. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into the port and ran into Mallow here while she was out on delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all, for all the fine ingredients that make up your team to shine. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Get that face! Oh, I hate that face. Especially you two. Your Pokemon look really... What? Your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. And Mallow isn't the only captain here on Akala Island, of course. So, what's your plan now? Yeah, that's up to these kids. It's their island challenge, after all. Yes, I suppose so. Okay, then. Enjoy your time on your island challenge, kids, along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to battle you when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you got. Let's go, Mallow. Thanks, she whip. Oh, wait. Why did it take so long? I'm sure she wanted to come see it. You made it here all right. I should never admit it to you. Ha! Huh. That's Olivia for you. She's a kind kahuna deep down. There are three tries. Three tries here on Akala Island. If you two decide uh, if you two decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up to Route 4 there and keep on going till you get to Paniola Town. Shoot, I know where I'm going first, and then straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of molasada they make on Akala, eh? Maybe I'll see about some shopping of my own. And I could and I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake too. I I just can't read. It's really, really unfortunate. Okay, so here's the here's what I need to do. Before the next episode, I need to head back to Our Oli City. And talk to the person. What is this? And talk to the person that's there. Uh, that was I was supposed to do with the uh, with the first bottle. You remember what I'm talking about? The first bottle that we found. What's this guy doing? My nickname's Electrowin. I'm having link battles against trainers far away from here right now. That's what communication features are for. <clears throat> Off in the faraway Jota region, see there is an amazing craftsman who smith smiths pokeballs from special berries. Wait, really? You mean they don't all come from the factory in Kalos? Hey you! You trainer there! Will you listen to this? Oh ho oh, oh, ho! I'm sorry! I'm sorry to just spring this on you, but do you know of the rare GS ball? I do! Oh, so you already know of Kurt, the masterful Pokemon, the Pokeball Smith who is the pride of the Johto region. Yes, the GS ball is indeed the greatest Smith's ball. That is what we call the GS ball. Is that true? Well, there's also, there's also those who might call it the gold silver ball, but that's right. So which one is right? Truth is in the eye of the beholder, my boy. Then trainer, I'm sorry that we delayed you on your journey. Let me share something great with you to let me share something great with you to make up for it. Oh, I cannot read. Premier ball, craft a commander. That's it. All I get is a premier ball. 
Hello, the Pokemon of Alola are popular all over the world, like Rockruff and Stuffle. They're all so cute. We can get a Stuffle on in this town, or in this, uh, on this island. Alola ferry terminals may look plain, but they're really great too. They're not just for passengers to catch the ferries. They even do the maintenance on the ferry boats right there. Okay, I'm done reading all this stuff. Let's get, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, that would not be a bad idea. Well, look at that, you have a trainer passport and it has your photo and everything. As they say, there are plenty of Pokemon in the sea. Say, how many Pokemon do you think there are in the world? Um, just over 800, if I remember correctly. Consider taking, picking up a fresh water or two from the vending machine. Your Pokemon will guzzle it, right? Next episode, I'm going to stock up on stuff, so don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. Alright, here's what we're going to do really quick. I'm headed to Haoli City. Yes. So, I'm going to go ahead and go back and do the thing that we need to do right now to close out this episode. I was about to say, can the boat move? Like, in Gen 5, which I know I should not be comparing, but... Never mind. You know, there are a lot of people who are... Bashing this game because it's not what Black 2, White 2 was. And, uh... You know, this game was... I don't think this game was ever intended on being that. Where am I going? The thing is, I don't remember where the bottle tells me to go, so I have to go back and read the bottle. But anyway, um... I don't think this game was ever intended to be Black 2, White 2. Like... Black 2, White 2 is a sequel of Black and Black and White. Like, it's a sequel. They say it's a sequel. And like this game, it's since the first time it was announced, this game has been about... Wait, this is not the way I need to go. Hold on, I'm going the wrong way. But anyway, um... Since this game was announced, it's been that this is the... Uh, an alternate storyline, alternate telling to the story of Sun and Moon. So, why would you expect it to be what Black 2, White 2 was? Like, I don't know. Obviously, I'm only through the first island, and I, but I absolutely love it. Um, I absolutely love this game so far. Like, it's, it's got everything that I, I, I really enjoy. Like, is it perfect? No. No Pokemon game's ever perfect. Insurgents wasn't even perfect. And that's the closest to perfect that a, a Pokemon game's probably going to get. Kind of. To some extent. But it's just like... Just enjoy the games. Like, we could have not had... it. Would, would people have rather we didn't have any Pokemon games this year? Because I know I would have preferred what we got. I would have much preferred what we got. Is this really happening? This is. I like that the leftovers animation is quicker. It's a much quicker animation. Thank you. Jeez. I understand that my Snorlax is not the fastest Pokemon I own, but come on. Alright, let's see if we can. That's not what I meant by getting through it quick. Maybe I should be on Tauros. Unless you're going to show me a shiny. The whole reason I don't use <clears throat> repels. Because when I was playing through XY the first time. Um, I ran into like. No, I ran into three shiny Pokemon through my playthrough. Like through my just initial playthrough of the game. Um, I ran into three shiny Pokemon. Three. I ran into a shiny Hone Edge. A shiny Snover and a shiny Ursaring. I hope. Where does it want me to go? Lives in Icky Town on Mele Mele Isle. Okay. So I need to go to Icky Town and deliver that message. And then we'll call it an episode. I think it's okay to tack this on at the end of the episode. For the next episode, we're actually in Akala Island doing Akala Island things. 
and not making a random trip back here. There are still some Pokemon that I need to catch in this area. Um, there's a Pokemon on Route 3. I need to catch the 1% encounter. Um, I need to catch a Smeargle. Should probably switch. I should probably switch just to avoid this happening. Like, I understand I'm trying to. Uh, I don't even think if. Uh, I don't think buttons is my fastest. That's okay. <laughs> when do I get. When do you get Charizard Glide? It's later. Well, I don't even know if Charizard Glide's still in this game, but it's later on in this island, that's for sure. Also, I wonder when you get, um, Pokey Pelago, Pelago. Whichever one of the two. Alright, great. No more wild Pokemon in this episode. Alright. So we're gonna make our way to Icky Town, which is just right here around the corner. See if we can deliver this message. Ooh, I almost ran over that rock rock. Let's see what happens. Is it this girl in here? Who is it? Wait, 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 this is it. Oh, yes! You need this old woman for something? Yes, I do. Told the woman about the letter you found on the beat. But that can't be! It's from my older brother. Truly? It's been so many years since he disappeared, but... But, at least I know that he was alright. Even if he was from far away from me, knowing that he was happy enough for me... Is, is, oh, knowing that he was happy is enough for me. Thank you for telling me what you found. I hope this may repay you in some way. It is my precious is my most precious treasure as a child. The sand I gathered with my brother. If I could ask just one more favor, if you do happen to find anything else like that letter again, please do deliver it. It might just be an irrepressible irreplaceable treasure for that person, you see. It has been for me. Let's go ahead and end the episode right there. That's a nice note to end the episode on. We'll go ahead and save. Today's episode, we did wind up making it all the way to Akala Town on our Mantine Surf. Um, and then we did a little bit of backtracking just to make sure that we're doing everything in the game as we say that we are. In the next episode, which will be coming out in about four hours from now, uh, we are going to make our way back to Akala Island on Mantine Surf. And then we are going to um, continue on exploring on Akala Island. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. If we're going to make this the best Let's Play on YouTube like I think we can, I need your help. We'll see you next time on the Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.